Kiora, welcome to my channel. Um, I've come on today to show you how I made my um, supermarket journal. Just looking for a blank page here. It is just totally all supermarket journal, and I've had quite a lot of comments on it, so I thought I'd come on and show you how I made it. Now, I have done a little bit of prep work here. I have my super bag, my, my bags come like this. This is a chemist bag and it is just under 27 centimetres and it's over 30 centimetres, which is about just under 33 inches long and 10 just over 10 and a half inches wide and these are the bags I've been using this one here is a supermarket bag with the with the rope um, handles but I don't get them anymore because I take my own shopping bags these days but we still get our we still get our um, prescriptions and things in these ones which are just as good they just have the um, paper handles on which I've kept because I thought they make quite nice little handles for journals or if, you, if you're into that type of journal but anyway I will show you I've left one to cut up so that and all I do is cut down the, the folded seam and it always goes easier when you're doing it not on camera but it's okay so I just cut down the middles which is pretty easy And then I open them up and cut down the middle of the bottom of the bag. Right. And then I just trim in here just to, just to straighten out the bag really. Um, I take these bits off and try not to um, ruin the, the bag for the pages but I use mine as glue books or um, mixed media journaling so a little bit of um, a little bit of texture doesn't bother me the loose bits and do the same to the other side some come off easier than others But some are a little harder to get off than others, but they're not too bad. It's lifting the page a bit, but it's okay. Right. Now for me, I just get them together. So they're relatively straight. I fold them over. bone and just shush them down. So this bit here I cut off. I don't fold any over because by the time I've um, painted and glued and 
whatever the pages are definitely thick enough I threw up three those away some people use them for other things the bits I've cut off I've kept because I might make tags out of them or something but that's basically what I do and um, my pages are this size which uh, in inches eight and a quarter by just over six and a quarter and to me that's a nice size journal page so I just measure them up on here I, what I do is I go to my to my guillotine and cut them so I'll do that and then I'll be back right I'm back and this is the extras that can be used for pockets and things if that's what you're going to do in your journal um, as I say mine is going to be a mixed media journal so I won't be putting any pockets in them so that's two four three pages my cover and this one has got one two three four five pages so i'm going to take that one out of there because i'm going to have four in them each because that is all i have now that one there can go on the outside it's a bit bigger right and then that is my two signatures all made out of the um, paper bags now for my cover I use one side of the bag which is like that and I leave that on that side and then I cut another one off this bit and I leave it a little bit longer and I just trim a little hole in it to thread it through and then tape it down now, this I just glue down to make it a thicker straight edge. On this one, I cut it a little bit wrong, so I've just added a little bit to cover that, and that makes my cover. So I'll just glue this down, and I'm going to use some. No, I'm not going to use that one at all. I'm going to use. What am I going to use? I think I'm going to use glue stick and a little bit of Elmer's clear glue just to make sure it all stays down. Let's put some glue around, right around the edge. I don't glue it everywhere. I, as I say, it's just a just a glue book. Just get it stuck in where I want it, and be a little bit. Well, not to come. All right, oh, there you go. Just glue a bit up here smush it out with my finger and we just go a little whoops a little bit around the edges especially the side edges just put a little bit at night there I'm just going to make sure we get this nice and straight on the edge here get glue everywhere down nicely I'll just get a baby wipe and so just wipe back the glue it's all, all smushed down right let's wipe the glue off Oops. 
I will decorate these so with paper and stuff so that they it will um, be a little bit thicker and stick down a little bit better. But that is the cover of my journal. Just make sure we're about right. And my two signatures. I just do one each side of the the center line and they fit in very nicely like that so that's the only thing I didn't get out ready was some um, twine and stuff to so, so I'll be back in a minute right I'm back and I have found a needle I lost my big darning needle Got a little short one here, but never mind. And I'm just going to do a three. What did I do on that one? Have a look. Oh, I did a five, didn't I? Mm. I don't think it needs to be a five. I'm just going to do a three there. One there. And one there. And one in the middle. Make a template. Always write top on it or T on it because, I'm sorry, not in shot. Um, otherwise, it can be different. So, take my cover away. Bring in my... Because my cover is a little bit longer, I just got to this is a little bit more even and that's all I do just make them stay together now our second one is a really good way to use up your um market bags or your chemist bags because we do get a lot of them and it's a shame to wait but waste them because they're really nice thick paper right now it was a bit silly of me I did that and I'm not going to well I could make it a one journal one mm, I might just do that let's see if my See if my um oh pretty close might just make that one a one signature journal since I made that big boo boo because I put my yes that's what we will do the easier less sewing right think things through before you do them before you go putting holes in it I was going to do a two signature. But now we're going to have a one and we just, I do it well, I do it three times the um, length of what you want. Now this is a wool dot, a wool, a wool darning needle. It's very blunt, you can't hurt yourself with it, which is quite good. Right now going to go through the through the middle there now through there and I don't hold this one together so I say think think oh no did I put holes in it oh yes I did let's get my get my little thing here so I'm lined up Are a little bit in a mess today, aren't we? We might get that through and make sure you don't pull your tail right through. Right. Now we're going to go back through there and through 
there. Whoops, pull it out a bit. Back around this way so I can see what I'm doing. Don't tangle up. Right. Just get a dog clip here and clip it together because that's what I'm doing wrong. Oh, if I can open that. Should hold it together. Right, go in through the same hole. And find it. Come on, come on. Oh. We're really having a making a dog's body of it this time, aren't I? Hang on, let's get in here. Get in. There we go. Get in. Get in. Get in. Right. Pull us through. Where are we? Just get, get this back around and into the right place. Pull it down relatively tight. Otherwise, it's always easier going in through the the front where you poked your um poked your pokey tool because that's the way the hole goes. Just goes like that in the front, in the middle. Turn it over. around a few times this is this is where I have terrible trouble I'm going to shorten that one a bit got my blunt scissors my husband just come and punched one of my scissors and they are the sharper ones of the two all right let's do a do a knot, a little tight, do another knot, sorry, and another knot, and I'll just let it hang, pull it out, and that is your basic not very straight, just as well it's on the back. That's your basic supermarket journal. All ready for use. And I actually think I like it better as one signature because in the middle of your page that you do your spread on is all even. Where in this one, when I get it, the middle page falls apart like that, so you've got a a gap in the middle, which I don't really like. So I've only got a couple of pages left in that one. So that is how I make my scrapbook page, and I'm going to do my next video, and we will decorate it. Thank you for being with me. Kia kaha, stay strong, be kind and be safe. And I'll catch you again soon.